So I gotta come home from work and go to work, bitch? Not today, I'm sitting in this car. I remember once my nine-year-old came to the window. She said, hey mom, what are you doing down there? I said, I swear I'll fucking drive off, go back inside, leave me the fuck alone, I'll leave. I will leave. I'm not getting out the car. I almost killed myself once by mistake. Uh -uh, not by I mistake. I pulled into my garage. Close the garage door. Car still running. Carbon monoxide all in the air. I would have rather died and share my Chick-fil-A nuggets and lemonade with anybody in that fucking house. I would have died. You should have seen me slumped over in my seat, still trying to get my nugget and my Polynesian sauce. If I could just get a less. Let me sip this frosty, because I know I'm going to hell, bitch. Let me get this lemonade. <laughs> These kids nowadays, they different, they soft. <laughs> they soft. I don't know where y'all grew up. I grew up in the South Bronx in the projects, and I told myself that when I grow up, I'm going to make sure I put myself in a situation that my kids don't have to see what I saw growing up. Because by 10, I seen dead bodies, crackheads, overdoses, stabbings. I seen it all. And a lot of us in here have said the same thing. I want to make sure my kids don't experience what I experienced. And now that I got two grown children, I'm like, damn, maybe they should have sold some of that shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, look at that crackhead right there. Look how fast they move. <laughs> look at that dead body. That's going to be you if you don't wash the fucking dishes when I ask you to. You want that to be you? Look. Not breathing. Check it. You. Uh -oh. And these kids, they so extra now. My daughter, she 18, she talk with her whole body. I can't ask her a question without her giving me her whole body as an answer. Uh -huh. I asked this raggedy bitch one uh -huh. question. Uh -huh. I said, Casey, are you hungry? 